Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Norman. Welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. I still keep going to say, uh, city folk, let's go to the city. But, you know, I'm improving. Uh, that's why I pause at the start of all of these. Anyway, uh, let from Cole. Uh, plus, I have some news about the channel. Uh, but first, hey, buddy. I was looking for a piece of candy I dropped under my bed, and I found this. It's hard as a rock. I'm pretty sure it's not the candy I dropped, unless it turns out to be a toffee bar. Then it is, and I want it back. Oh, okay, well, we'll see how close that is. But no, this is kind of like half an update, half an episode of New Horizons. Down there for so long, it fossilized? Okay, um, no, a little bit of a mini channel update. Uh, some of you might be coming from the uh, Big Folder Guys video I dropped yesterday. Um, no, I worked on that for like, you know, two and a half ish days. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the reception that's doing. Like, that has had the best launch of a video I've ever put out. So, you know, it's, um,. I'm I'm feeling pretty good. Um, you know, seeing it like you know, it's kind of kind of popping up and down, and then today it started picking up steam, and it was like the graph was kind of like it, it was going up, and then just shot up vertically. Um, so seriously, if you came from that video or you you've just contributed it in some way, then thank you. Uh, but no, I have a little bit of an announcement regarding uh reviews from this point onwards. It's not concrete, but I have been thinking about it, and we don't have that, so I'll buy it. Uh, but basically, um, I've been thinking about my audience a whole bunch and the amount of side channels I have, and. Basically, this channel, by and large, most days you show up, it's gonna be a Let's Play video, right? It's me playing the game. And while I think game reviews are kind of in the same market, um, they, you know, Let's Plays and reviews are also a completely different market. Yeah, I'm sure you can see how this is going. Like, every game I've reviewed, uh, which is a trend that's about to be broken with the Persona 4 kind of once-off review, um, I've played on the channel. So it was like, it was a nice little advert, almost, for the thing I've played. But I understand there are people that maybe just aren't, in, aren't interested in the Let's Play stuff, and they're just interested in the reviews. So it's like, hmm, I've kind of been mulling over it, and I would like to hear some of your opinions. But I'm thinking pretty strongly about the idea of starting a channel, uh, starting with probably the next review and what have you, where it is just the reviews. I'm not sure what I'd call it, maybe it's just Neremic 2, maybe I can convert the Pulse 1 channel into it. I don't know, but but I think um just, just like a smart smartness perspective, like I understand like you might you might want to see the reviews I put out, but you might not care for all the let's play stuff you get in your sub box. You know, it just might not be a cup of tea. Um, but it's like you know if I had a channel kind of separate for reviews and people kind of check out the two of them, and I I, I think like I mean let's plays are really saturated, right? Like I was I looked out with the New Horizons one. I was like you know I was first there. I I knew how Animal Crossing games works, and I definitely wasn't trends chasing. I don't think I was there just because I wanted to be. Uh, but, but you know let's plays are quite saturated, and kind of you know, you know adding that to the side of like the reviews, which I think are probably more in demand. It's like I uh, I don't know. Um, so let me know what you think. Do you think <laughs> spend all the time trying to catch the fish that just leaves? Okay. Uh, but no, let me know what you think. Um. This will probably be a change that I'll announce in a major update video, but I've been mulling over it for the time being. Um, should I move uh, reviews over to another channel? Um, I'm debating what to do with current reviews. Uh, on one hand, some of them are the best performing videos on my channel. And on the other hand, say, say I was to really upload, I don't know, like the Fall Guys video, for example. Like, right now, it'd still be applicable. Uh, but, you know, something like the uh, New Horizons review, you know, yeah, look at it. It's like, it's kind of a little bit dated. Um, you know, it's like, if I re-upload that, there'd be an expectation for you to build on it, so it's like... I'm thinking, if, if that were to be a thing that happened, I might just keep the reviews up that we've got so far on this channel, and then just from a point onwards upload all the, all the funky video essay content over there. I mean, it, it makes sense. Um, I think, you know, I can, have an, I can have an audience for the video essays, I can have an audience for the Let's Plays, and I can have people from both channels that like the other, you know? I just, uh... Hmm. I mean, I remember when the, um, dropping the Shemu 2 review, I'd been working really hard on that. And, um, <laughs> I, I, I drop it, and it goes to check out it's performing. And it's doing okay, it's rolling along, it's getting like seven views in the first hour, which is pretty neat, my, even my standards. <laughs> but I saw him, <laughs> I saw some unsubbed, and it was like, ah, yeah, it's kind of a conflict of interest. So it's kind of been mulling in the back of my head since then. Um, you might be saying this, why are you doing this right after you've just put out a really well-performing review. Um, it's kind of recontextualized things a little. Uh, but no, um, I know, I'll probably, like, make it an official thing, it'll be, like, in the channel sidebar and whatnot, and, uh, yeah, that's kind of the state with the reviews. I'm, I'm not sure what I will call it. I'll probably still introduce myself as Neremic, so it'll be, like, Neremic something, and, oh, this is an aesthetic camera shot. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, and that's the, uh, 
that's the best part. We can we can name it whatever we want it to be named, but I would like it to be called Neramic because I mean, look, it, it it it's the channel brand at this point, you know. It it just it just is. It just is. And a. Hey. And so maybe I'll call it like Neuromic 2, uh, I might just put it on Neuromic Plus 1, Neuromic Reviews, there's a lot of different stuff. Uh, but I think, I think we'll, we'll make it work. And there was another thing that I was debating, and it's that when I eventually run out of games to be Let's Playing on this channel, I could just, like, instead of making a separate channel, I keep up with it. And then say, because I'm going up on the point where I am actually running out of games to play. Well, let's say, hypothetically, I go two years straight of uploading Let's Play content. And it's like, oh, right, curtain called, I've finished every single game which I was playing. It's like, th this could just become a review channel, because, you know, it's like, it's, it's more content, and Let's Plays would just kind of be that thing that happened. It's like, ugh, ugh. You, and you, I'm, I'm thinking about the future, uh, get out at me here. Punchy, I have probably put you into an even deeper sleep with all that talk. Um, right, looks like I fell asleep in the middle of getting ready for bed. Okay, this time for real now. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, I'll even be. But no, let me know your opinions on whether you think a channel just for reviews is good. Because it's pros and cons, right? Like, this channel's got a bunch of subs, it's got all the fair bit of interaction on each video, so it's like, yeah, and some of the people that have, like, came to be an audience for the reviews are already here, so it's like, you know, there's the debate of, like, starting over and whatnot. Um, don't worry, I will talk to those two. I just want to check if Red Ship is here currently. Because uh, it's been a while since he's been. And, ooh, okay, okay, I'm glad I was right. I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm debating it. I might just keep it here and then, you know, like, later down the line it might just be like, oh, this channel does, does you know, review videos now. And, I don't know, maybe like years down the line, like, I do review things, then that thing happens, and then I start a second channel to do what's plays on again. I, I don't know, man. Um, but, yeah, I have, I have been giving it a fair bit of thought because, to be frank, yeah. Um, anyway. Right, I think I already know what the correct piece of art is. So that looks like the wrong one. That looks like the wrong one. I think this is the right one. I'll, I'll just dive straight in. It's the only one that looks kind of right. It's like, yeah, I assume they're looking down on playing fields. Oh, no, those, those are rice farms. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I think that's the right one. I'd be very surprised if I was right first try, but <laughs> I've already been scammed on the blue tablet. I know it's meant to be a different colour. And I've memed the, uh, the scary painting there so many times it's like... Yeah. Ooh, Nook Miles for potentially picking so many right thing. Okay. Huh, okay. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of, like, actual Nook Miles challenges for once. Neat. Anyway, you won't regret it. I sure hope I don't. But yeah, no, I figured I'd talk about the review thing first and foremost, because this is the video going out directly after the Fall Guys thing. And once again, seriously big thank you to the people that have uh, supported that video. It has really shown me that if I play my cards right with launching a video like that, I you know titling, descriptioning, tags and whatnot, it, it can just do really well. So I'm definitely um I'm definitely going to pay pay that man going forward and maybe on some of the more retroactive reviews too, where it's like, okay, I could probably change the title a little if this didn't do too well and you know see how it goes from there. You know. Um, yeah, just, yeah, I've learned all actually in the last day. I'm quite happy about that. Anyway, Penguin Man. Right, uh, so, right. Uh, that's the general you've been gone text. Now, what's actually up? Well, it's time. Carmen is leaving tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah. When I think back and picture all the amazing workouts we did together, I'm amazed at how Bill I look. Well, I suppose he's given us some things to do. We should probably go visit Carmen before they leave. Just... Just, just to do, like, you know, a nice little farewell thing. Uh, but first, let's catch this, uh, let's catch this bug. Hey, uh, guess in my net. I'm surprised this net hasn't broken yet. Um, it's a jewel beetle. Cool. God, that's not British. Okay, that looks new too, so I went for it. Tiger beetle, that's what they were. I used to catch those on Tarantula Island, and they'd be worth, like, a few thousand. Oh, back, back when, like, money was an obstacle in this game. Weird. Weird. Different times. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what else is there to talk about? We're checking on Carmen, but I don't think anything else has been happening as of late, really. It's just kind of been... It's just kind of been happening. Yeah. Alright, how are we doing, though? Oh, hey! I'm so glad you came to visit. I have something to say to you. Thanks, like, so much for giving me advice. It helps me decide to pack up. We'll be super far apart, but I'll always remember Daniel, my Trace superstar friend. That's worth all the capture right there. 
Ah. Uh, okay, that was nice having Carmen. The house was nice, they were nice, but you know, I, f I figured it was time for a change. Like, eh, yeah, well, like I said, I don't have Villager Haven access anymore because I, uh, my Switch Online ran out, so I can't, like, get any villager I want by just using the dodo code. You know, I don't mod, so it's like, I, you know, I said this before, but I am going to let just a random villager move in there, and we'll see where it goes from there. Because, you know, like, having that occasional villager you hate in your town is kind of part of the experience. Like, secretly you enjoy the fact that there's someone you don't like there. It, make, it, it makes it more interesting. You know, the, be the best, the most interesting things come from conflict. Yeah, look, look, at, look at me, coming up with quotes that no one's going to use. Hello there. Except maybe an Arabic moment. They like to do that from time to time. Okay. And... I call the black bass the most missile of all fish. Right, well, um, actually, since we caught that uh, beetle, while well, that's still on my mind, uh, let's go do donate it to the museum, because I don't, I don't see us doing anything else. Oh, actually, you know what? We'll, we'll see Pietro, then we'll go donate. Yes, okay, so let's sell. And I need to be careful about this. Let's sell the fossil. Let's sell that. Let's sell that. Let's sell that. And it was a tiger beetle that we caught. Tialpa and a dace. For a fair amount of that. A uh, cute bed. Yeah. Actually, actually no, I, I got. I bought that last time, so we'll save it. And I think that's everything. Yes. Okay. Anyway, how are you doing, Mr. Clown Sheepies? Is there even a fish there? Alright. Yeah, but I wasn't sleeping, I was just visualizing a monster catch. Honk honk. Okay. Anyway, blathers time. Also, I'm gonna cut this one back to 18 minutes, I think. <laughs> I, I uh, t was talking to some people before and I kind of had to dip just to do this, but I figured, you know, I'll go back early. I'll, uh, I'll enjoy the rest of my evening. And I know I've said this, but like, even if I just got a minute off recording, um, like the remainder of production, so like exporting, editing, uploading, it all becomes like exponentially shorter. And I've dropped my right Joy-Con, that is impressive. Um, anyway, um, so there's another little topic we can do. Um, the Neremic Direct. It's like, this is like a mini Animal Crossing update. And you know, it's like striking while the iron is hot, so to speak. Uh, but, actually, I'll, I'll go through the dual beetle facts in case you just want to kind of tune it out or get some cool facts, I think. Yes, please tell me for, well, not me, but you know, anyone who else is interested. But, um, so the Neremic Direct had two poles in. And I'm closing polling on those because they don't seem to be moving anymore. So, you might be thinking, what are the results? Well, the first one, um, probably the one people were least interested in, was do I do a Let's Play on the Great Ace Attorney? And the answer um, was yes, it was 2 to 1, because uh, people weren't too bothered whether I played it or not. It would, like, either way, it would just kind of be there, and it'd be that little bit of padding I needed for the time being. And yeah, that's on the way for the Switch. I'm probably going to play the Switch version because. I can't really afford right now to buy two, so um, yeah. Um, probably gonna um, I might sh I might stream on YouTube and just kind of have the vods up as the content. I'm not 100 percent sure, but we'll get there. Um, no, that's, that, that was a yes. And the other one was between two games which I would play at some point before the end of the year. Whereas Grace Ace, Attor Ace Attorney is starting now. Um, yeah, these these would start some point in the future. Yeah. Um, so you may be asking, well, what is it? And it was. Now, Undertale and Danganronpa, and to no one's surprise, all my friends uh, pulled together to, um, make me play Danganronpa. <laughs> um, yeah, this probably, like, makes literal zero sense to anyone, uh, watching. But my friends have been nagging me to play that game, like, ironically and unironically for months. So, the fact I'm finally doing it was very big news to them, I'll admit. <laughs> I mean, you know, hey, I'll give the people what they want from time to time. Time to time, don't get too excited. Anyway, um, th this this room is really something else. Um, yeah, you know, fine. <laughs> um, I think I, I need someone to put this like bed down just to trial it, but I'm not sure where it would work. Maybe upstairs. Maybe. Like, I don't want to get rid of the pet Ira Palmer, man. He he's been vibing up there for ages, but I gotta try out my bed. Just see where it fit, see if it fits or not. <laughs> um, actually, right, there we are. Cute bed. Okay, it's like only minorly invasive, you know. Like it, it only like occupies like five percent of the room tops. Anyway, um, yeah, does that work? Um, actually, I think maybe perhaps. Ooh, okay. Somehow in a room themed Asian and dog themed, yeah, it's kind of kind of blends in quite well. I mean, the rest are Happy Home Academy school, so I'm not complaining, but. 
Yeah, this is this is, this is the nicest looking room. Just because <laughs> just I kept it like a consistent theme. Oh, yeah, like I said, this house is weird. Um, like hypothetically, uh, we have a room we could empty. Like, and I refuse to believe that like part of me thought this was a good idea, and I also refuse to believe that I did this like a year and four months ago. Uh, but you know, may maybe it's time we pack up the Easter room and like put something worthwhile in here. Like, I understand that will tank my Happy Home Academy rating, but, like, do I really need all of this on display? Mm, you know, that, that can be next week's problem. We're getting towards that 18-minute mark. And, yeah. Um, so those are the results from the Neuramic Direct. I'm looking forward to doing Great Ace Attorney, uh, mainly because it is one of my favourite Ace Attorney games. Uh, not because of how the cases were solved or whatnot, but just, like, the cases are actually, like, pretty well cluster. But, like, the actual individual writing between the characters was really well done. So it's, like, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing it. Hopefully, um, it, 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 I, I can't necessarily say it'd be something new, because we've played Ace Attorney before, but it'll be, um, something old being brought back in kind of a new fashion. Yeah. Um, on the topic of directs, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to do another one. Like, I'm kind of debating it internally, like, you know, hmm, do I when I've got enough news? I, I think it's better than they play an update video for certain. Um, like, so it, like said, the, uh, potential, um, new channel for reviews, you know, right, and I'm starting a direct, among other things, and it's, like, it feels like kind of an event, more than just a, oh, it's an update video, you know, because there's, like, an amount of effort, and, yeah, I don't know, anyway, um, Toby seemed happy, so, uh, I'm happy, yeah, so I'm digging this new look my character's got, <laughs> what started in a, um, episode where it seemed really cursed has actually turned into, like, one of my favourite looks that I've had in a long time, yeah, ooh, okay, hello there. Who are you? And are are you useful or not? Alright, Boomer Who DIY. Clack the cartwheel in there. Right. Well, you know what we can do if we already know that? Hell yeah. No, I think I am going to do directs for major updates now, actually. I think I think it'd just be cool. Yeah. Unless like, unless, like it's a very immediate update, like, Ayo, right? Yeah, we need, we need to do something. Like, super quick. Um, I think I'll do those major updates, because I really enjoyed making it. Hopefully you guys that watched it did too. It performed quite well. Um, I would say it was the best performing video in the last month. If this video was uploaded yesterday. <laughs> Actually, let's, let's see, how is the fork? Well, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, YouTube algorithm? What are you doing? Okay, so this video has been out just over 24 hours, and it's got 27 hours of watch time. Um, I cannot comprehend success very well, so it's like... Uh, <laughs> you know, just assorted noises kind of come out of my mouth in surprise. Um, yeah, um, like I said, thank you for supporting that, though. It really does mean a lot. Um, like I said, I made that in two days. Really rushed, but I'm very proud of how it came out, and even more so happy with the reception. And yeah, um, I think... Uh, okay, you know, we, we gotta finish it with talking to Cole. Uh, next time this series is actually going up, um, is going to be on Cole's birthday. But we've gotta attend the boy himself's birthday on August 10th. Can't forget that one. And yeah, um, any parting words of wisdom for us, Cole? Oh, oh, he's gonna try and give us a DIY thing. Right. It, uh, another clacker car? No, but there's, there's no... Surely this must be something where the game, like, tries to randomly decide what, like, recipes to assign. It's... I have a feeling there's a glitch in the game. There's no way I'm this lucky, right, for the game to, like, randomly select quack a cart twice? Like, are there just, like, event flags or something I'm triggering? Anyway, but what, you gotta mention a simple parker now, you know, bring this full circle. Right, you look good wearing anything at all, buddy. Right, for context, the simple parker is that thing I'm wearing. Uh, the blue top, and uh, there was a glitch in a few episodes ago where no one would stop mentioning it. And it's kind of similar to the quacker cart situation. Hey, your career goes round into shades. I think you all look pretty good. The style's kind of like your simple Parker. Jesus Christ. It, the, the cycle continues. The, the cycle just perpetuates itself. I hope I made you happy. Okay, well, you know what? We'll try out these shades. Although I, I have a feeling next episode, all anyone will do is just consistently mention them. And... You know, fair enough. I'll, I'll pretend to have my vision impaired for a single episode for you guys. Yeah, oh, he's got my thank you death mug. Where'd you, where'd you, where'd you get this? I mean, if you did enjoy this, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. It all helps out a bunch. Um, I had a load of fun doing this. But I think, um, yeah, much like my character in game, I'm going to go have a nap. So until next time, I'll set all that aside. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and if, hey, if you're new here from the Fall Guys video, maybe stick around, 
And if not, uh, don't worry, come back in like a few months and uh, find the review channel, which may or may not exist. Until next time, all said, all that side, I really do hope you've enjoyed, and thanks for watching, guys. My name's Ben Noramic, and peace out.